Here are the most expensive cars ever made. Let's get into it. Let's jump right into the middle of the list. The Bugatti Devo listed for $5.9 million, which debuted in 2021. New Bugatti had to be in there. It's actually the sibling car to the $3.3 million Bugatti Chiron. It's more exotic looking and exclusive. Bugatti only manufactured 40 Devos. And honestly, Dan, it looks like it's made of plastic. Oh, that, that's just aggressive. This is, this is a carbon fiber beauty. And they tried so hard to make this cooler than the Chiron, but I don't really think it can compete. Gotta remember, it's about 80 pounds lighter. This is a, this is a track car. Got about 200 pounds more of downforce. I mean, I love this car. I think it's beautiful. A uh, little offended on the uh, plastic comment, but we'll let that go. Coming in sixth place is the Mercedes-Benz Maybach Accelero. The Accelero costs $8 million. It was paid for by Falda, a German tire company, and the only reason it was built was to test new tires. The next car is the Koenigsegg CCXR Travita, listed at $4.8 million. It was enough to catch Floyd Mayweather's eye. Uh, he was the uh, famous guy who uh, brought it here. So this this wide body car was so expensive to make that Koenigsegg only made two of them. I mean, if you look at some of the stat, stats on this, I think we've got around a top speed of 254. This is a hyper car. It's $5.4 million and it's none other than the Pagani Huayra Imola. This was the name I was waiting for, Pagani. I, I'm a huge Pagani guy and this one right here uh, is just a gorgeous, gorgeous car. So it was announced back in 2019 and they only made five of these. They literally had this Pagani on a weight loss program, Dan, by using special paint that was specifically developed for the carbo titanium body instead of traditional paint. The vehicle shed 11 pounds compared to the original Huayra. We are going to move to something a little more on the high end in the world of multi-million dollar vehicles. The Rolls-Royce Sweptail is number four on our list and it's $13 million. Dan, are you a Rolls-Royce guy? I will let you know once my uh, Powerball ticket hits. All right. Uh, so that's, we... that's when I'll tell you if I'm a Rolls-Royce guy or not. I'm astonished by the things they come out with. Uh, and just the fact that they're willing to work with their customers to put together anything. It includes a wood and leather interior and has a unique look from the behind with the V-shaped glass roof. I don't know, it's just it's elegant. Like, I, I don't even have the right analogy for it, but it's just beautiful. So we're going to move on to the next car, and it has a very fun name, the Bugatti Cento Dieci. Wow. Uh, I knew plenty about this car, except how to pronounce the name. So you actually just did me a big favor. Uh, it saved me a lot of embarrassment. So uh, here's another Bugatti for you with a price tag of uh, 9 million, which is pretty crazy. Absolutely insane. But this is a gorgeous car right here. It's based off the uh, EB110. Um, it's got just that extra, you know, sharp point to the nose. It's like the EB110, a little bit of the Chiron. Uh, it all just fits together perfectly. The Cento Diichi has a unique rear design that I really like, and I love how the windshield is kind of rounded, and it has a nice casual top speed of 236 miles per hour. They uh, purposely limited the uh, top speed to uh, 236. Let's take it down a notch now. The next car is the Lamborghini Vanino Roadster, the cheapest car on this list and it's still sitting at almost five million. I don't know, Dan, I think this might be my favorite one so far. I mean, I think it's a gorgeous car. Uh, I look at it though, I see a beautiful body, but I also just see a giant hunk of uh, carbon fiber. Zero to 60 is clocked in at 2.9 seconds. There you go, cracking the three second mark. Beautiful car though. Pretty impressive. We have reached the top three most expensive cars on our list in third place. Sitting at $17.5 million, we have the Pagani Zonda HB Barchetta. My favorite feature of this might just be that simple uh, wraparound windscreen. Uh, it's rare, but it's elegant. And it probably didn't contribute to uh, $17.5 million, but uh, I'll take that any day. Coming in at number two is the Bugatti La Voiture Noir, a classy name with a hefty price tag of $18.7 million. And another Bugatti. Uh, again, I like that more kind of sharp nose to it, 
little um makes it stand out a little more i really think you have to go around back my favorite thing six exhaust tips this was a part of bugatti's plan to build two customs per year actually but it only made one noir making it super rare and it was already purchased by an anonymous buyer coming in at a whopping 28 million dollars is the rolls royce boat tail allegedly owned by uh, JT and Beyonce. So the rear deck opens up like a butterfly, revealing an elegant tailgate with a champagne fridge that fits bottles of Armand de Brignac, which just so happens to be the champagne company that Jay-Z owns. So do you want to rescind your allegedly comment from before? All right, all right. So the evidence is adding up. Uh, we'll, we'll give it to Jay-Z. Among this top 10 list, we actually have a bonus. Rolls-Royce Crown Gem actually pales in comparison to the most expensive car ever sold. The most expensive car ever sold is the 1963 Ferrari 250 GTO, which changed hands in 2018 for a record-breaking $70 million. The manufacturer's suggested retail price for this car was only $18,500. I'm not quite sure where all that value comes from. Uh, I mean, I, you do have to remember the amount that it did on the actual racetrack uh, class win at the uh, 1963, 24 hours of Le Mans. But still, if only I had $70 million lying around. Yeah, you and me both, my friend. And that was a Gearheads Dozen. See you next time.